Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr in the next round. This time we are playing a panic room around the same power rating as the last episode which was a wonderful small siege. Um, good for us we are playing against against Chaos, I think against the True Kari. We would have a little bit of a hard time. Alright, mission believing. An undercover asset has activated a savior beacon when his location was overrun by hostiles. The asset is hiding among a, among a group of unsuspecting survivors behind a sealed blast door. Mount a rescue operation and extract the agent without breaking his cover. Secure and extract the survivors. A VIP behind an armor door, but is hiding behind an armor door, but the enemy is trying to get in. Your task is to reach him in time and then escort him. To safety, reach the VIP before it's too late. Take the VIP to the extraction point. Tactical Neurospheric Network online. Target has been barricaded behind a security door to avoid immediate extermination by hostiles. The door will be breached within a few Terran minutes. Violent intervention required to retrieve the subject alive. And that we will do. Um, I enjoy in this game most mission types. Um, I think there is. Um, um, yeah, well, I'm not in, um, um, enjoying purchase that much because you have to clear out the entire map, but that is something different. I wanted to say I enjoy most of the missions. Um, I really enjoy the um, Panic Room one. The only thing. I do not like that much and I would actually hope to have something um, of you know to be shown is that I would like to have a timer displayed um, I remember in the beginning of the game um, I don't know which mission it was um, I think it was uh, a, a hunt mission or something like that um, you had a certain time limit but the timer hasn't displayed there that was a little bit saddening because you, you know, didn't know what or how long you still have. That's the same thing with these missions. So I actually would... Oh crap, there I didn't look correctly. That was not good. I would like to know how much time I have um, or whether I need or should rush through the map. Anyhow, um, this sh sh um, ship tile set is absolutely amazing. I think it looks so splendid really enjoying it that is you know as I said before I um, in many episodes um, I would enjoy um, a darker lighting um, that I really would like to have but overall you have to say in the end the um, missions are looking quite good you know it is not a triple A title which it ne never has been for me and never will be <laughs> Um, so I think it looks quite nice. All right, a grenade in there. And slowly taking those guys down. And in the end, we are going to face the um, the sniper there, which actually should have a knockback shot, which is not really nice of him. So let's quickly take him down. Nice damage done there. The critical hits, of course, with the bolt gun are quite good if you do 500 or 800 damage there. Quite nice. Should um, I think the you noticed that um, I I think we are not having the highest of and there is a trap that is nice to know. We are not having I, the highest of um, of um, critical hit chance in um, every player in the world, I guess. But um, I think through the spells we have, or s through the um, skill points we have, I see it there. Um, but I would like to. Can I hit it? Yes, I can. Um, but I think through the skill trees we have, we increase the critical chance about a good um, amount, which you can see if we fire at targets that is actually quite nice so I'll don't know whether I should use the missile launcher or 
not. Um, I should first of all clear out the surroundings here. That is unnecessary damage we receive. And then I think I'm going. Well, let's wait and take a look once we have killed off the close combat guy and we can focus on the Alpha Legion Commander. As you can see, um, against him we of course do way less damage, although the critical hit there with 515 was great. We overall do less damage as he is more armored. That is not. Does he explode? No, good. Was a little bit afraid there. Yes, um, I could have used a cyclone missile launcher blast there, but I'm always try to be more reluctant with that because it takes a little bit to reload, or well, not to reload, but until you can fire it again. That is the advantage I think you have. For example, oh crap, um, which I think you are having with the Sentinel. Um, with the sentinel towers you can, um, the old guns you can um, summon down that they have quite a small cooldown and you can just, you know, spam them out and even use them um, defensively which is quite nice I think. So as you can see the unbound runs are quite heavy to kill as well. So there's a trap rocket as well so it um, it's no difference on which side we go, so let's take him down. Babe, I am now actually there, so the grenade will seal the deal for the door. Oh, or not, I did not expect that. Okay then, let's take down the trap rocket. Oh! Oh, that would have been amazing if I wouldn't have had to reload. <laughs> That's the fun fact. I think um, during the time I, um, you know, there were quite a, I think, a lot of episodes I only did close combat. And one thing I um, not mislearned but forgot to use. Um, on not not to do it as intensively as I did before is the reloading um, thing. Fun fact there. For a second, I thought we had a enemy cycle there until I realized no, that's the VIP. I know I there are not going to be that many enemies up ahead, but we will use. A grenade here, a missile launcher there. Oh no, shouldn't have done that because he's just going away. So wasted that anyhow. He's down in a second, like so. So these are taken down with ease as well. Nice, and then off it is. And we are at the extraction point and have another mission done. Hopefully, um, like the last episode, we have a small little upgrade for our power rating. Let's see that in a couple of seconds once the VIP is out. So, I'll take the crafting ingredients as well. Oh, a craft gun, nice. So, come on, my little friend, come on. And off we are. Operation complete. Subject retrieved in adequate condition. A most unlikely achievement. End of log. Well, I think it was not that unlikely, but overall, good that we did it. Alright, 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 then... We take, as I said before, a quick look at the items we have received. That will be nice, of course, a bolt gun, a less gun, and quite a few new items. Um, that one, oh, oh, that is luck. We have a huge upgrade and ah, that is always a nice feeling. Not very often happening, 
but if it happens it feels quite amazing i'll have to say all right the less gun 309 is no upgrade and anything here no not at all guys so we have an upgrade we are a little stronger now that feels oh so nice so i hope it's not going to take too too long to go on the um, next investigation for now guys as usual i really thank you for watching if you guys actually have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye